5 o'clock. The findings are in on a horrific accident that killed a southern Indiana teenager. A crash report by the city of Jeffersonville finds the driver of the garbage truck that slammed into several cars had some serious issues. Way 3's Connie Leonard is live in the newsroom with Reaction. Connie. Guys, the driver of the garbage truck told city investigators that he had taken two different prescription drugs before his shift started and never saw construction signs warning him to slow down. Tonight, one of the people involved in that crash finds that hard to believe. Well, they were uh, quite glad to see me walking. May 6, Ted French laid eyes on his family and realized how important every moment is. I was really glad to see somebody, you know, that that I knew, <laughs> that I really cared about. French was in his flatbed truck waiting in a line of construction traffic as crews paved Highway 60 near Sellersburg. Suddenly, a Jeffersonville garbage truck plowed into the back of a line of vehicles. The impact was so strong, it flipped French in his flatbed and crushed another car behind him, killing 19-year-old Bethany Burrier of Borden. I had a tough time that first week. Wake up every, every morning, that first thing is on your mind was that, and the young lady that lost her life was kind of tough. Uh, that was uh, on a Thursday. I didn't drive anymore until Sunday. And the next place I drove was to church. <laughs> French feels lucky to have walked away, but has questions about the crash report just released by the city of Jeffersonville. Investigators say garbage truck driver, 45-year-old Roger Crum of Marysville, admitted before his shift that he took two drugs for back pain that caused drowsiness. This individual uh, driver uh, had uh, a prescription for two medications, Flexeril and Lortab. He had a prescription for those medications, had had that prescription since June of 2009. Uh, he became an employee of the city in April of 2009. City attorney Larry Wilder says Crum never told his supervisor he was taking that medication. Crum also told investigators he never saw any construction signs or flaggers. I remember seeing at least one. French not only remembers seeing a construction warning, he remembers where, a quarter mile back from where traffic was stopped. And then I saw the guy standing out in the middle of the road with the... Uh, the sign that they turn for stop and, and slow. French says even if Crum missed the construction warning, he doesn't understand how Crum's co-worker, Timothy Shekels, missed it too. Two people were, were distracted. And I have driven those, those trucks. I know, I know how they, they handle. It just boils down to being distracted and not seeing what was happening. City officials say Crum's co-worker hasn't been interviewed yet because he's still recovering from his injuries. Attorneys representing the family of Bethany Burrier and those representing other injured crash victims say they're waiting until other crash reports are final before deciding what to do next. By the way, the Clark County Prosecutor's Office is now reviewing this case.